taking no chances. Inspector Mel Aitken is a local police officer and an avid runner. It's in that capacity she's helping with an event at Ross Creek, following the sexual assault of a young female runner within the reserve. Dunedin is a safe place and historically has been a very safe place to run so something like this happening has certainly stirred some emotions and some has put a, a lot of um, fear and concern in a number of runners within, within the Dunedin running community. Local runners are planning to journey through the reserve on Thursday evening. Staff at the South Dunedin Warehouse have come on board supplying whistles to be given to participants. Aitken says carrying a whistle is one way people can have peace of mind when exercising outside. She's been sharing her top tips for staying safe. Cell phones have apps on them that have tracking devices. So um, I have an app on my phone that um, my family can actually watch where I'm at and where I'm going and they can push a button and check in to see where I am. Police say they're following leads into the Ross Creek attack. They're looking for this man in relation to the incident. The suspect was described as wearing a black balaclava at the time with a black top and black compression tights like skins. He approached the victim from behind, knocking her to the ground and tying her up. I often just run with one earpiece in and the other one I can hear traffic. Um, if there's people coming up behind me or cycles then at least you have that awareness uh, that, that there's someone about. Police are urging anyone with information about the Ross Creek incident to come forward. They say any piece of information, no matter how small, could help to bring the offender to justice. Rosie Mannins, 39, Dunedin News.